Halloween is a scary time, you know that, with werewolves and Draculas and all the ghouls running around, but for some, their life with drug addiction is even more frightening, and they live it every single day. Queen Anne's County had a haunted crack house 30 years ago, and now opioids are in play, and this weekend, a haunted trap house shows the effects of opioid addiction. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison, who was in that house 30 years ago, goes back to that house tonight. This may look like your typical high school party, a few beers in a parking lot, but it's actually all part of the Queen Anne's County Trap House. <laughs> Unfortunately, as some parties go on, the drugs come out and so do the problems. I guess it started when I was about 22 using regularly. Casey Reynolds is one of the performers, but this is all too real for her. She's a recovering addict. I had lost everything. I lost my home. I got kicked out of my apartment that night. My boyfriend stole my car, wrecked it, and got arrested. And he's currently in the detention center right now. Oh, oh my God! All too often, someone dies, and then someone goes to jail. For a period of 20 years. It just affects so many different families. Not only is he a part of this scenario, he is actually serving time in jail now for abuse. Like it, I mean, it's a nationwide thing. It's an epidemic. It really is. I mean, I've lost several friends myself over, you know, a number of years. Some people think that drug problems are inner city problems, but as we know now, no communities are safe from this problem. That here in Queen Anne's County, we have three times the number of lethal opiate overdoses as San Francisco. They just released a study about fentanyl three times on a per capita basis. This may not be werewolves in Dracula, but seeing the impact of the drug epidemic is much scarier than any Halloween monster. You know, I grew up and I was raised in Queen Anne's County and this was never as big as it is now. And I worry about my own children. There was no trick or treat in this Halloween scenario, only the horrors of drugs and the destruction in their path. Scooby-Doo, I mean, uh, taught, taught us that, um, you know, all the real monsters are really human. And, yeah, it's, it's lurking around every corner, honestly. In Queen Anne's County, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News. That is something else. This haunted trap house will go on tonight and Saturday night from 7 until 11 o'clock. It's right there at the Kennard Heritage Center. And you can park at Queen Anne's County High School and then take the shuttle. And that's about a mile away.